our second important integral here and um, yeah so in calc 2 you'll learn an integration technique called trig substitution and in a lot of problems involving trig substitution at the tail end towards the end uh, the problems will reduce to just figuring out the integral of sine squared or cosine squared and we'll do cosine squared in the next part um, and in either case, whether you're looking at the integral of sine squared or cosine squared, you need to make use of the cosine double angle identity to um, solve them. And so here it is. So remember that cosine 2x is equal to uh, 1 minus uh, 2 sine squared x. And this is often written last, but I'll write it first since it's what we need here. And the second is cosine squared x minus um, sine squared x, which is not useful for our purposes here or in the next video, but I'll write it anyway. And then last is 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Now it's very easy to transform any one of these three things into the other by making use of the Pythagorean identity of trig, which is that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So through um, substitutions from the Pythagorean identity of trig, we can go from here to here, here to here and the other direction yada yada okay cool all right now as I said what we're gonna use here is the very first identity right and there what we're gonna do is solve for sine squared to do that uh, we can write the following which is um, that 2 sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x you can do this a bit more slowly but it's clear that I just you know, like moved stuff around and this first identity, that's all that happened, right? Okay, cool. Now, next, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides of this statement and that it say that I have sine squared x is equal to 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2x. Yeah, cool. I think we're ready to start. Um, so, what we're going to do is replace sine squared here with this hand, right hand side and doing so we can rewrite our integral as follows which is a half minus a half cosine 2x dx cool and then we could do it as two different integrals um, or together it doesn't matter if you viewed it as two different integrals that'd be one half dx and then minus a half um, cosine 2x dx yeah cool and of course a half dx has integral 1 half x and then this other one is going to be a quarter um, sine 2x and a quarter because we have to multiply by a half after taking the antiderivative of cosine 2x the antiderivative of cosine 2x would almost be sine 2x, but if we take the derivative of sine 2x, we have to multiply it by 2, and that's how this half turned into a quarter, because to compensate for multiplying by 2, which we don't have inside of this integral, we don't have a 2 here, so we can't just write um, sine 2x is the integral of this, I'm over-explaining, but to make up for the lack of that 2, we multiply the half by a half, which is how we got the quarter, and then plus c. Now, if you like symmetry a lot, and um, it's kind of a, some kind of odd symmetry, right? Uh, and you want, instead of a quarter there, you want a half, then you can use a sine double ang angle identity and write our final answer is the following, which is a half x minus a quarter, and then it's um, 2 sine x cosine x, which is what sine 2x equals plus c. And that way, you could multiply the quarter and, and the 2 there and write a half x minus a half sine x cosine x of somehow this is more preferable in your world plus c. Yeah? Okay, cool. Take care.